Welcome back everybody, Dino Joe here. Today, we're gonna to test the 50cc saw class. We have pretty much every new 50cc saw. We got the Farm and Ranch saws, Husqvarna 450 steel MS-271. We have the cheap eBay $85 50cc chainsaw. And then we have the Echo CS 501P. And then we have the top two. The Husqvarna 550 XP and the Steel MS-261C. Those are pretty much the top 250cc Pro saws. All the tanks are full of Amsoil Dominator, 40 to 1, with 90 octane E-free gas. Well, what do you think? Ready to change your pick yet? Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Leave a comment. Let me know how you think I'm doing. What you want to see, where you want this channel to go. Thanks a lot, everybody. Here they are. Steel 261C. The Echo had some issues in shipping. That's the first time I've ever had that happen, but I can still push the rod, so we'll get it. I'll use the bucket and get the weight. Husqvarna 550 XP Mark II. The $85 5200 eBay saw. Steel 271 and the Husqvarna 450 Rancher. That's the lineup. All right, here we have the Husqvarna 450 Rancher. These come equipped with a 0.325 pitch chain, but I need 3 8 pitch to run on the dyno. I'm converting it over to a rim setup to run one of these replaceable rims. This is 3 8 by 7. Oregon. This is the small spline diameter. These are all seven splines. This is the part number for this rim conversion. It should work on the 445s, 450s, the 340s, 345, 350 saws too. That's the Husqvarna part number. This is the clutch removal tool. And these clutches do have little notches. That you can use your scrunch or a screwdriver or a chisel and hammer. They're a left handed thread, so that means you turn them clockwise to come off. But these are notches in here. Use them at your own risk, but bearings are the same. What is different is the seven engagement splines, they're much bigger on the factory spur. You are supposed to switch out this worm gear to run this drum. But if you're swapping these out for use, you should get the 346 worm gear. That's this piece right here. Slide this on, make sure it's meshed in. Put the clutch on the right way. Again, these are backwards threads, so lefty tighty, righty loosey. Started up, trip the brake, that'll that'll really cinch it down. Alright, right here. That's the Oregon small versus the steel small. Husqvarna 450 Rancher. 12 pounds, 5.3 ounces. All right, we're gonna swap the rim, the clutch set up from the spur to the rim on the steel 271. Inboard clutch. You can see it's another 325 by seven. And there's the steel part for the rim. This is for the MS-261. And there's the steel part number for the 261 rim setup. And I believe it works on the MS-291 as well. Always make sure to line up your oil pump drive with this notch on these inboard clutches. All right, so on these, we need the steel small spline, 3 8 by 7.
Make sure it's seated in. All right, this one's ready to go on the dyno now. Steel MS-271. 13 pounds, 11.2 ounces. All right, the rim stuff showed up for the 5200. Takes the Oregon. Small spline. Forget to put your washer back on. And we slide the clutch in. All right. There's the $85 eBay saw, the 5200. 11 pounds, 7.5 ounces. Here's the Echo CS501P. Yes, I have all the extra pieces on there. 11 pounds, 14.7 ounces. All right, here we have the four cheaper saws, the homeowner saws. I left the 501 in this one because it's only $40 more. And you can see the 271 had the most power, almost 3.9 horsepower. Then the 450 Rancher at 3.6, the 501P at 3.55, then the V-Pro down here a little ways, 3.22. Steel MS-261C, 12 pounds, 6.5 ounces. Husqvarna 550 XP Mark II, 13 pounds, 5.9 ounces. Well, here it is. The Husqvarna 550 Mark II comes out on top, 4.75 horsepower. Then the 261C, 4.16. Then the little Echo, the 501P. We knew the Echo just doesn't quite put out the power stock. Husqvarna really has these 550s dialed in. They make a bunch of power up top, higher RPM. They're not really giving up any torque. The steel, it's really not super far behind. All right, here they are. This is all six runs on one graph. Torque's up top. Horsepower's on the bottom. The peaks are the PK. All right, here's the winner. Most horsepower. 4.78 horsepower out of the Husqvarna 550 XP. The steel 261C was second in horsepower, but it was actually the top put out the most torque. First the Husqvarna, then the 261, then the 271, then the 450, then the 501P, then the 5200. Now from first to second, 
is 11.5%, which a good muffler mod and a sharp chain will more than overcome that. The little echo in the Pro Saw is down 32% from the 550XP. 271C, 3.9 horse, that's the most power out of the homeowner saws. But the 452nd, 3.62, that's down 8%, 8% power between the 271 and the 450. And then from the 271 to the V Pro 5200, the V Pro is down 19% in horsepower. But this is an $85 chainsaw. So you got to keep that in mind. $85 for 3.3 horsepower. This one wins by a long shot horsepower per dollar. All these are very comparable. Now power to weight, it goes 550 XP, 261. The Echo 501, the Echo 501 is the lightest pro build 50cc you can get. The Husqvarna 450, then the V-Pro, and the 271 is the worst power to weight ratio. All right, everybody, there's the result. Thanks for watching. We got some fun stuff coming up. Maybe some pipes. We got some more builds. I teased a little bit about the 372 with the aftermarket cylinder. That is coming up. We'll get to it. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks a lot, everybody.